the push to hold for it at least and flamey he doubles up with two kills off of that usp i don't know how he gets away with that look at look at it the, the best part about those double stacks if you're a ct pushing into it is if you kill the bottom player first that top player is going to fall and they're suddenly going to become inaccurate in the air so that's always a little tip you always got to kill that bottom player uh first not really a surprise that's where you should be aiming anyway and navi they're aiming for success here in the second round it's a forced buy up for espada deegs and armor good bit of utility considering the situation but what will they get done with these smokes one flashbang behind them and honestly at times the flash can feel like the the best bit of utility right in terms of being able to force kills when you don't have the weaponry smokes may give you a bit of a pathway or block off the sight lines for navi but i mean you know you're not gonna hide from Na'Vi. You've got to fight them eventually. And Boomich, he's looking for a little bit of that as well. Doesn't want to give away this advantage. He's solo B right now. Flamey has gone back towards that long side, and so Boomich needs to be very careful. That he does. Spotted with their eyes set to the top of Banana currently. Dima leading the pack. Na'Vi are playing just further enough back so that they can get some shots in, but also not expose themselves too much at the top of car. Any second, Flamey with the Jiggles out, ADAD right, and potentially drop a smoke there at the top, Banana, to really buy themselves some more time. Still 30 seconds left on the clock, but the decision's gonna have to be made here. Spot have brought the bomb back to top middle, peeking at top middle of the sod fix, simple, waiting over there towards the arch, and that's gonna be enough to scare them away. They're running for the hills, and by the hills, I'm talking about the B bomb site. Yeah, Flamey out of. Boomich here, ready to try and hold down the fort, but they've only got 10 seconds on this clock on the Esparta side, so they've got to pick up the pace, or else they might be in for a world of hurt. And it looks like it might be the latter option. <laughs> oh, oh, they the get spin. the bomb down. Salvik spinning to win, but not winning with the spin, as this round will elude Esparta. Patsy is allowed to stay alive, and he does manage to hold on to a Famous. Don't actually know how he lives the journey there. That was simple firing at him. Doesn't normally miss those, but that time around he does. Now, the, they still yeah. get the conversion, but a bit of an interesting one there. Well, even on top of that, you look at that bomb plan. It's something that could have been stopped, but for some reason... The SMGs don't like to participate sometimes. See, we've been seeing more and more players like spin on bombs recently, and I wonder what the ruling is, right, for that, like in terms of hitting a DPI switch and just going super fast. If anything, at times, it feels like the slower you do it, the better. If you do it, at, not, not like super slow, but at, at a normal mouse speed pace. You know, more players, are, or more often than not, players get caught out. You're spamming the body, trying to spray, and then the model gets you know, moved, and you get away with it. Well, Sotvik does in that round. Uh, Petsy, he runs out apartments, kills two, runs back at apartments with the loot. Finnegan has been given that gun. Give it a loot! <laughs> nice. Man, that soundboard is sick. Yeah. Got Travis in the studio here. Big Fortnite fan, but we're turning him on to Counter-Strike as well. Trace ain't happy with me. Maybe I got a reference wrong. I haven't said anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, your your looks is a thousand words. No, I, they can't <laughs> see me. You can't see me. Haters can't see me, even more importantly. So, with our attention towards the top of middle, we go, Harry. We most certainly do, but as Sparta, they maybe don't. They actually leave top mid and they rotate back towards Banana with this bomb. That's going to force Boomich back into this B site at the very, very least now. Uh, maybe going to have some consequences here as it forces a second man around in the form of Flamey. And that's exactly what Esparta were looking to do. That leaves this A bomb site with just two players trying to hold the fort. A bit of a crossfire inside the site. Perfecto's boosted, and there's a player tucked. Oh, he's playing anti-flash. Perfecto covers him well, but now they know he's here. Electronic, he might have crashed, and Dex has not cleared the corner. Electronic is down. He's out. And, yeah, maybe technical issues on the side of Na'Vi. Still a winnable round. They can't focus on it too much right now. Dexter overwhelmed inside of the site, but they don't know where Patsy's gotten to. He's sat in the pit with one. And left in a one-on-one, -on -one. Flamey. Oh, he's been spotted, but he gets away with a kill. And that's going to be Na'Vi picking up the round. The HUD is bugged. Don't worry about it. It's not a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we are waiting for a reconnection, of course, with Electronic getting caught. Perfecto, man. He does a great job considering Electronic isn't in that round. He's alone on the site. He gets two and a half, and Na'Vi win the round. Shout out Flamey as well for running the clock down a little bit. So the pause doesn't have to be as long. <laughs> 
That's like a matchmaking or ESCA classic there. Yeah, you know, your you, friends getting back in. You, you just quickly yeah. slow it down a bit. And I, I just needed to fact check something right there. And, you know, there are a lot of rappers that ride trends. And, you know, I can't even be mad at you, Hugo. If you want to talk about I the mean, dismay you, I had on my face, it's because that is not a Travis no, Scott original. No, is it? Oh, where is Notorious it? B.I.G. Ah, uh, I mean, so, yeah. Baby. I, I'm just, you know, I'm just quoting the one song I know. I only know one song. It's Give kind me the of, loot. Yeah, there it is. That's it. That's the only song I know. Give me the AFK. That's basically what we are right now with a little bit of a BRB, even though we're not going anywhere. Espada, down a player. Having enough trouble doing it with five. Perhaps four would make it even harder. It's actually Navi, but yeah. Just I kidding. Mean, Finnegan moved over on the HUD to Navi's team, so maybe Ross to Yeah, that would have been a very unexpected Ross to be. <laughs> Minus Live. Electronic plus Finnegan, the one that we've all been expecting. <laughs> But uh, right. we should be jumping back to the game. Yeah, see, there you go. Freeze time. I told you guys not to panic. It's completely fine. That's Anyways. good, because I was very panicked yeah. that entire time. You're getting really sweaty over here, Harry. <laughs> I just Stop. hyperventilating. I know that isn't what it sounded like, but that's what it was meant to be. Na'Vi 3-0 up right now as this CC side all comes to a head. As Sparta in with their investment. It's rifles out across the board. And Na'Vi, they do have that AWP over on Simple's back. He's taken it over here towards the A bomb site, boosted Ooh. up ah. on the head of Perfecto, no less. And he will go ahead and leave mid. Dexter putting some shots down range does scare the AWP away for the time being. Sparta trying to take some mid control. They know Na'Vi's re-aggression can be fatal, so they're going to be very careful with doing so. Spam through the smoke connects for Na'Vi at the top of B. Again, it's a solo player in the form of Boomage. Na'Vi have been really gambling with this solo B player, considering they're often leaving Boomage with no utility here. Flamey has grenades, but he's on rotation. And there we go. Boomage is dead. He lets him get close. He'll pay the price. And if only a Sparta committed there, if they did, they would have had the site. Instead, they've got to fight through Flamey, who has become a ro begun a rotation. He's inside of B. Simple is nearby as well with that orb. But Esparta, I like this slow pay, uh, pace T side. They take the map control. They stop. They can always back up towards mid as well. But if anything, this delayed play has made this round harder for them as now Na'Vi sit with two inside of B and Esparta set up for a five on two execute. Oh, but Simple and his orb here lying in wait. Flamey at the back of the site, and together they've turned this in favor of Na'Vi. Flashbangs in for Simple to try and help Flamey out. His nade will deal with Dima. And oh, oh, Patsy, look out, my friend. Gets tagged there through the coffin. Simple doing a lot of damage to make this round feel and fall uh -oh. even further in favor of Na'Vi. Patsy somehow gets out past that nade and now tries to creep into CT. They don't know he's here, oh. and he might be able to catch a bit of a timing now. Players had already crossed past CT, past the trees. So Patsy might go unchecked here, and it no. is Perfecto running into the site that clears it. Defuse going to come on in. Na'Vi, they'll take a fourth. I mean, trial by fire here for Esparta. You can see the thought process of Patsy's like, well, there's no one going to be right side CT at this point in the round. And yeah, Electronic is stalling his rotation. And even though Patsy gets in such a, you know, such a strong position to do so much work, his teammate immediately dies, and they clear him from the site. That's the best part. Electronic doesn't even come around the corner. Perfecto's the one to get it from, uh, from you know, the site. And so, yeah, that's the last player Patsy wants to be fighting right there. Good round for Na'Vi. Nice retake and simple doing significant damage with that orb through the coffin certainly helps. He even found a grenade kill onto Dima. Sparta looking for their first and the fifth. Back in with guns. They got a bomb plant that enabled this buy. They're going to try and take some apartments to control as well. Now, if you are at least giving that up right now, Perfecto is close, short. Electronic is Balk, but inside the hallway, help yourself. I think it just occurred to me, Hugo. What occurred to you, Trace? That, you know the song Jolene by Dolly Parton? Yeah. That's like the original Sarah. Really? If I had to think about it. Chlorine. Chlorine, chlorine, and here we go. Electronic on the case here towards these apartments. Finnegan going to be the first one with a frag to his name in the round for the side of Espada, but he's not going to be the only one. Patsy grabs one. Perfecto good for two, and that's going to leave us in a 3v3. 
Yeah, Bomb looking to go down for a Sparta. Boomich on the rotation, trying to get in through Library, but the smokes are down. And for Na'Vi, they're instead going to look over here towards short side to find some success. Smoked off over at long, and now Flamey leading this charge on in. Does have simple in tow. Boomich is going to hang around over at long side, but that smoke is still down. And a re-smoke now over here at short side. Pressure's really on for Na'Vi. They've got yeah. to commit through these smokes, and that's not where you want to find yourself. A Sparta trying to hold on to this site, Ooh. and they do best Flamey on the entry. Boomich gets that trade onto Patsy, Dexter and Sotvik trying to hold this one from down in the pit. This bomb is very, very far ticked, oh, but Boomich is already on it. And for Sotvik spraying, Ooh. almost gets away with the double, but not quite. And Na'Vi, they will take a fifth round. They just about get that one on the board. It comes down to the wire. But that there is where, like, you can see the confidence shining through for Na'Vi and perhaps the the kind of... I, I, it, I, you know, it doesn't feel like it was an experience. I think it's more like just kind of trying to play that round very, very safe for Esparta, yeah. right? Ducking down in the pit, not just keeping guns up, right? Really focusing on utility to try and keep Na'Vi out of the bomb site. And I think that all makes a lot of sense. And that's definitely how you should be looking to play this game as a team on the rise. But Na'Vi, they just kind of waste no time and barrel into that site and stick the defuse. If Sotvik kept spraying there after he killed Simple, he would have killed them both. He would have got Boomich off the bomb. It's now, I don't same, know about the timing. Yeah, think, he might have I lost the, the round. I think the defuse still yeah, comes in I anyway. I think he would have lost the round, but he would have killed them both. He would have stopped that all from getting saved as Boomich picks it up after the round. That smoke of Sparta throwing short, it was a good smoke. It, it stored things out for Na'Vi, but what it also did do is let Simple throw a Molotov into the site and then a player cross into bomb site and create a bit of a distraction. Now, Patsy sprays that player down, but it's all a bait for Na'Vi because Boomich comes through the moto smoke, he climbs up the long side box, and he kills Patsy on the site. He trades. So, yeah, that was that was a plan for Na'Vi. They use one player as almost just like, like a, you know, a suicide mission. Just run in, die, get the info, get traded. Na'Vi win the two-on-two. -two. And, yeah, just showing that every round is winnable, even though these retakes might be really, really hard. You know, this is, uh, in, in some, in many's mind, the best team of 2020. I think it's so hard to say you know, any team is the best team right now because of the circumstances, but Na'Vi certainly have made a name for themselves winning Katowice. Which feels like a lifetime ago, Hugo, yeah. Katowice, that is. Just... We're, in, we're into the fifth month of the year, Trace. That's kind of mad, isn't it, as of today? Yeah, it is kind of strange considering in just a couple of days it'll be the 4th of May, and May the 4th be with you. Cinco de Mayo there after that. Perhaps a little Cinco de Drinko as well as we begin to take a look at what Dima can do. He might be being pushed here from Boomich, or at least a little bit of a standoff. Not going to be curving any flashbangs. Oh, this is great control for a spot. they got three behind enemy lines, and I don't think Na'Vi have, have really reacted to this one. They realize it's a possibility, but they don't know. They are being rushed through their own spawn. Sotvik is being loud. Flamey's waiting for it on an up angle. He lines up two. Trade is in, and they've got the kill towards B as well. Dima finding Boomich at the back of the bomb site and giving a room to a Sparta. They're going to get the bomb planted. Na'Vi have to once again three-on-three -three retake. Again, these rounds can almost feel so impossible for a CT side but they got it done on A in the last round. Can they do it here? Ooh, those smokes. That might just be enough. Yeah, that looks like the case. Na'Vi going to bow out of this one. They'll give the first round over to Esparta. And justifiably so. You know, I think that's one thing that this Na'Vi team I've really looked to focus on as well, right? It does feel like they treat every game just as seriously as the next, you know? Like, and that's something that Blades even echoed in interviews, right? That they don't approach a game versus a team like Asparda any different to how they would approach a game versus a team like Liquid. Um, and, you know, that round there, I think, I think that's a good demonstration of that. It's a three-on-three. And half the time's ticked off the bomb. Now, if you're an RV, you can look at that down the lens of, yeah, we're probably, you know, what, one of the one of the best teams in the world right now in a Sparta? Yeah. Probably not. I mean, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> definitely so not. <laughs> we could just give this a go and we could probably do it. But they don't want to take that risk. They try and play it safe and this allows them to have that much more to work with in this round now. And even on the other side of it, it's not that we see Navi just pushing down and getting super aggressive one player at a time. That's a testament to the discipline that this Navi lineup has right here. Well, they dropped their first round on the board, but still, you don't see anyone hunting for frags. You don't see them getting out and really 
putting themselves out there on the, uh, the diving board, if you will. Going off of ranking alone, out of the 12 teams in this CIS section, uh, Sparta come in at number nine out of 12 in the rankings, and Na'Vi, of course, number one. So, yeah, that's that's an idea of where things rank up right now, and Sparta are running into the meat grinder that is this heavy A-side setup. The crossfire is there with shots from Electronic and Flaming, but it's going to be a recovery from Perfecto Woo! 4 off of the back of the site, hiding in the corner, and he's going to smoke himself off as well. There should be a gun available for him to grab in that smoke, and and AK picked up, and Ace on the cards, and Dexter has a lot to do. Is Perfecto going to get the Ace? He certainly could. Now he knows where Dexter oh. is, and almost. You know what, Perfecto, man? We'll count that as the Ace, just for you. Well done, he gets it done. All five for Perfecto. Ah, that does feel a bit disingenuous, doesn't it? Yeah. I said it out loud and I realized I didn't like it. Four and a half kills for Perfecto <laughs> in that round there. Not quite the ace, but almost gets it in the bag. 6-1 now for Na'Vi. Yeah, in Hugo. the US, they would call that just about the ace? Yeah, they, wait, would, they would say that was the just about the ace for Perfecto. Just now, about the ace there Now, for that Perfecto. feels very backwards yeah. to me because that would mean he got the ace, me being from Britain. That's how we use that. Well, guess if what? someone just about does something, then they just barely do it. But they've done it. Just about. Yeah. I just don't understand, guys. I don't I mean, understand how it works the other way. Trace, yeah. do you want to get some insight here as the resident uh, American expert? Actually, Defend your honor. One of the only North Americans in the building, if I had to guess. Um, so I guess when I think just about the ace, right? I also think just about how you guys came up with this England stuff. And then obviously, you know, maybe America made it a little bit better. So, uh, that saying, <laughs> I'm going to argue on that Yeah, one. no, they've definitely just about added to the... Uh, <laughs> to, to, yeah, to dude, nothing, nothing spells better than just well, taking all the U's see. out of our words. But we're back into the action. Let's see how this round pans out, right? We already have this AWP of Simple trying to deal some damage down through Banana. Now, Esparta looking pretty spurred on at the sound of that AWP chiming on in. They want to try and... Exert some pressure over here towards Top Banana to grab this bit of map control. Now maybe going to look back towards this A site, right? Pretty kind of standard default on this map is to gain Top Banana control, then you take Top Mid, and then you work from there with already two serious bits of control to kind of go around with. And that looks to be the case here for Esparta. Now it's going to be uh, Finnegan and Patsy trying to secure this Top Mid control they were looking for. From there, likely going to culminate back here towards the B site. And Finnegan's helped demonstrate that brilliantly by rotating yeah. away now to join the rest of the guys here at Banana. And it does make a difference, right? Because despite Sparta setting up in B and Na'Vi having three there, all it takes is Finnegan throwing that long smoke and it forces a rotation of Boomage. So there's less players at this B bomb site. And Na'Vi, again, might have to play for retake if they don't hold it. So we'll see. 28 seconds. Boomage. He's hanging around. He's considering it. His rotate's going to be fast, and he can flash players back in if they get smoked off. Simple looking to fight, though, as the players climb up and above. Dima caught out of the air. Simple saves Flamey's life, and he does a little bit more as well. Finally traded by the Orp, and the man at the back is gone as well. Boomage flying through the air, and eight seconds left. The bomb just getting planted in the nick of time. It's a two-on-three retake for Na'Vi, and no utility to do it. And this is already another save. This has already gone the way of the last attempted B-site retake, yeah. right? They're a man down. They don't have anything to work with, as you say. And so they just decide that this is kind of the best option they've got. They hold on to these rifles, but that is going to be the majority of the investment for Na'Vi in this next round. I'm imagining we're going to see a force around them. Uh, you know, thanks to Boomich having a bit of extra money, they can look to get some more rifles alongside this, but at most it's going to be like a Famous. So definitely not ideal here for Na'Vi. A second round on the board for Esparta. Yeah, simple. I mean, you know, still holding his own every time they come to his site. That's no real surprise, but uh, only a couple of kills. Killed by the AWP on the repeat there. And the player at the back of the site finds nothing. Flamey is flashed out from the very beginning. And Boomich, I mean, a heroic attempt, but eh, not really the result behind it. Talking of results from heroic, both heroic and Copenhagen Flames have both beaten North in the last two days. So North, I'm looking shocked, like the personally. second best Danish team anymore. Uh, yeah.
the Copenhagen Flames doing it to him is the yeah. one that's going to sting the most. Definitely. But enough with the Boomer Esports. Let's jump back into the CIS region that is Navi and Espada going toe to toe. Currently, well, Espada putting two up on the board has shown that Navi can lose rounds in this game. We were a little unsure as to how they would stack up against Espada. We might have a game on our hands. Looks like it's going to be B presence here in a heavy fashion for the side of Espada. Boom, it's only good for one before he goes down. And now this defense just falls on Flamey inside of the site. He's trying to find his way around the smoke, playing through the oranges. And before you know it, he's pushed through. Looks Aww. with the CZ and his Patsy on the case. They're going to get a bomb plan out of this with ease. Oh dear, still a retake though. Navi are here and they're considering it. Util in a kit. Simple's found Sockpick. And um, Patsy has got to be very careful on these refaces. Simple is ready with the scout. It may not be an orb, but it's still dangerous. And this is what is winning rounds for a spot. This exact smoke thrown once again at the feet of Simple. It's forcing Navi to save. You can't go through this. You can't risk it. Honestly, no one's really watching it with the exception of Finnegan. Like, there's a world where, where Navi can pop through and be fine, but they don't know that. They don't know where Esparta are playing. And so the re-smoke's coming down. I love that Esparta is saving utility for the, this position because it's completely denying any chance of a retake for Navi. Three rounds for Esparta, all because of the same thing. Yeah, and this is where, like, usually, you know, if you're on the T side of a, of a map like this, you know, going into your site take, you've already used some of your utility in a lot of cases, right? Usually, like, to try and gain map control yeah. over at A or sell a bit of a fake. And then when you go into the site, you'll use your smoke for CT and coffins. You molly out the appropriate places there as well, like new box and oranges. And, and then at that point, right, usually teams are just kind of batting down in the bomb site. Maybe you have, like, one smoke left to use on, like, CT. You know, you could throw that deep smoke but you don't see teams do it a hell of a lot whereas here for Esparta every post plant they're in it feels like they have two or three smokes spare and they just replenish this deep smoke down in CT that does deny the retake and that has been the case now in all of these rounds over towards the B-bomb site. So I think we need to see Na'Vi maybe pressuring a little bit more earlier in these rounds, right? Trying to force that utility out the hands of Esparta. There's a couple of ways you can deal with this as well if you're Na'Vi, right? One of them obviously is what you said, and you know, the, the idea of taking banana control when you've got more grenades and, and, and pushing and taking map control and four stacking A and not losing boomage with, you know, you, no utility. It needs to be jump spotting safely. It needs to have a smoke to fall back with and buy time for a rotate. All these safe decisions Na'Vi need to make or they can start flanking Bernardo on these retakes. Um, a position that Esparta, you know, haven't had to defend once they've got the bomb down on B. So that's an idea for Na'Vi. Obviously, a lot more risk coming with that, rotating through the enemy's area, but it does provide you alternative routes back into that B bomb site. And we know Na'Vi's retakes, I mean, they've been really good this game. Obviously, giving up on every B retake because they need the money, but the first or four out of the first five rounds Na'Vi won were retakes. A lot of them, you know, three on threes on the A site. So... Navi have had some really good rounds here, but Esparta have found a bit of a short-term solution. Now, Navi leaning towards B off the back of these previous B rounds and the fact that Esparta are quiet once again, but they might just go into a two-on-five here on the A site once again, making the right read. Oh, Perfecto eliminated immediately, and Electronic has dropped down in the pit as well. This A bomb site has fallen instantaneously for Na'Vi, and it's already going to be a save. This is a fourth round now on the board for Esparta. Yeah. Electronic currently one and five on the board. Oof. Rut row. <laughs> yeah, not having the uh, the most typical of beginnings for a man like Electronic. And that maybe sets a bit of a worrying tone for Na'Vi. I mean, that is something you got to remember, right? Like, while Na'Vi are the favorites here, they're going to be the favorites heading into every single one of these matchups in the CIS region. And it only makes sense that at some point, a team is able to beat them who maybe shouldn't be able to beat them. And if there ever was a time for that to happen, you feel like it would be on the opening days of the region, right? Like, when they first right. start playing. That's what we saw back in Pro League as well. And that's always the case, right? Like, in the beginning of events, that's usually when you're at your most vulnerable. You haven't, like, warmed up to it yet. You haven't gotten into the swing of things. And even though Na'Vi, you know, they come off the back of playing in Pro League not too long ago, they have still had some time in between these two, right? And they have had some time to uh, perhaps get out of the swing of things. Ooh. 
Oh, that was the one bit of utility Navi had in this round, and it's at least slowed down this B rush that Esparta was setting up for, at least the control. I don't think they're gonna, you know, rush and commit to B. They have been doing a good job of grouping five and banana when they commit to, you know, Wall of Smokes executes on this B bomb site. And that's very smart. You don't want to overcommit with not enough, but that's enough. Sotvik finds Boomich in the spawn, and Demis is going to go right through the smoke. Ooh. Wins another fight. That's the B site done. That's the round done, more likely than not, as Inferno often leads us. Yeah, that bomb's still pretty far behind, but that's not going to be a problem here. Sotvik are going to grab it. Minute on the clock. Three players alive for Navi. What could they possibly do here with just these P250s? Even like the mid flank here, <clears throat> the mid flank here with a banana retake for Navi. I mean, if they went for something like that with pistols, they would have found the bomb and T spawn. But Sparta obviously have that covered. So Navi, nothing really to lose. You can give this one a look in. If you can get exit, stop a Sparta from saving. Maybe even get some of their guns yourself. Otherwise, it's an XD, Hugo. I think that is the appropriate term. XD. The legal term, yeah. They've got uh, they've got electronic. I think that is locked in the corner, and he doesn't know that they know, but they know that he doesn't know. Now I'm really confused. Run that one back for me, Hugo. I mean, well, they knew that he was there. He didn't know that they knew that he was there, but they knew that he was there, and they knew that he didn't know that they knew that he was there. So you're saying that they knew that he knew that they didn't know that yeah, they did yeah. know that he knew. Because otherwise, why would he be know. tucking? Because if he knew, if he knew that they knew that he was there, he wouldn't be tucking in such a way because, well, they knew he was there. And they did know he was there. They find him, they take him down at the end of the round, and they put another on the board. Five for Esparta. It has been quite the recovery from what was a 5-0 lead for Na'Vi. A 6-1 start with a reset round after the first rifle. Hang on. I'm a little confused about this conversation, so yeah. I don't know if I know what you know about him not knowing. It's okay knowing if you don't know what I know that I, I'm talking about. <laughs> All you need to know is that Esparta knew that Electronic was there, and he didn't know that they okay. knew that he was okay, there. Okay, there so we it's go. Right. It's okay. It's okay. 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 That's good now. I think we've de-scrambled the whole situation. Good I think we've grief. made that nice and clear for everyone watching yeah, at no home. No one's confused now. Everyone yeah. knows. Not that we're talking in enigmas around here. Good grief. Anyway, Navi, a little bit of trouble in paradise here as we see a 6-5 lead from Navi. Yes, indeed, Tracer. Now, Dexter donning this orb for the Esparta side. I'm gonna go over towards top mid now. Trying to take this map control away from Na'Vi. And uh, as simple does lie in wait, this man often makes things anything but simple for his opponents. Uh, and that looks to continue in this round here and now. Esparta going to grab this top mid control. And then they'll kind of float around, but they're not going to consider sticking here. Instead, they throw that Ooh. bomb back, actually. Ooh, they do that? reconsider it. They've gone... Actually, you know what? I was kind Are of enjoying the scenery at A. Maybe looking to go for a B split, Hugo. I think he could be right there, right? At least with how things are positioned right now. And that Moto Smoke only reinforces this idea that they're looking to split oh. mid to B. Electronic, or simple rather, goes back into the A bomb site and that allows a pathway here through CT spawn. But 10 seconds, my word. Yeah. Time is of the essence. Molotov. Hasn't found any damage onto Flamey. Uh, there's just not enough time. <laughs> yeah, the there just wasn't enough time to begin with, even though they run all the way there. The confusion for me is sending the bomb, you know, archway. I understand maybe you want three players there or you want the bomb with the majority, but there's so many other ways to do that. Like, you know, put the majority in banana or put the bomb with two is honestly a better idea there. And yeah, I, I, I like this from Esparta. They throw an A-fake before they do it. They throw that motor smoke. And so simple, he, he may get that first kill on long, but he sees a motor smoke and he thinks a Sparta is splitting A with a long lurk and he thinks he's got the first kill and then he sees a smoke and he dives in front of it to play A and that gives a Sparta the room inside of the spawn. So it's a nice idea, but yeah, the time wasn't there, the bomb was in the wrong place and they didn't clear out the site. This one's a little better Oof. to start at least with Sotvik finding Flamey inside of the fire. That's a gross little fight <laughs> over a banana. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Sotvik is able to win that out. So a Sparta starting a man up in this round and that's going to put some pressure on the Na'Vi side. Will force Perfecto to keep this position up at the B side of the map. Boomich 
Going aggressive here down Banana and putting himself in the firing line as a result. Finds himself some damage from that nade, but ultimately not really much for Na'Vi to work with here. And they actually rotate uh, maybe both players away, I'm going to say. Like, yeah, Boomich does decide to float around. He started to run back to CT. Now, they've left the one player without any yeah. utility here at the B-bomb site. Ooh. But might not matter for Boomich. They go ahead and feed him some kills anyway. Now repositioning over here to the Coffins. And this man is good for another. That's three kills from Boomich on the solo B site hold with no utility. Once again, these deep smokes have gone down to deny the retake. A Sparta, they've got another smoke to offer up as well. That's on the back of Dexter, so keep an eye on that Whoa. as this one dissipates. He's not going to be ah. able to throw it down. He's very ballsy taking these fights. And now Na'Vi group up at Ruins and CT to attempt this retake. Yeah, they've got to go fast, though. The Molly's really good. It's going to push Dexter back and he smoked off the spawn, giving Patsy the room to fight Coffins, but they've gone through it. Simple has no fear. Electronics found a second kill, and through the edge of the smoke, Simple will close the round. The retake is down for Na'Vi. That deep smoke coming into the CT spawn doesn't buy enough time. Dex is pushed to the back of the site. He can't continue to re-smoke them off, and... Harry, yeah, you're right. Boomage, no utility. Again, the solo B player. Na'Vi had three players of Molotovs in that round, and none of them are on the B bomb site. Boomage, he does a great job. He gets two in the spawn that Esparta have been pushing that position before. And then, of course, you know, the rotations have utility, so Simple flashes him back in. He gets another kill. Really good round for Boomage, but, it, you know, it never would have got close. It never would have been such a hard round for Na'Vi if they just had utility on that B site at the start. You know, if, if you're the one throwing the nades down banana, you should also be the first point of rotation for that B bomb site but it's like it's fine right Navi have, have won most of these rounds but it has come back to haunt them and it has left them in positions where their one solo player without utility gets rushed and dies Boomich has been well, often up on the chopping block not so. only that you know I think as well like considering the fact that Blade so often says that they head into these matches with like the precedent that they're going to play it how they would any other uh, tier one team. I know that's hard like to keep translating across in the server, but obviously these are mistakes you don't want to be making at any level, no. right? Be it at the top, be it, you know, in like the, the lower tiers, even though I kind of hate that that terminology, right? Like, you know, th this is not mistakes you want to be making at all if you're an RB. And even though they find the round on the back of it, you don't want bad habits to like further cement no. themselves just because you're still finding success anyway. I don't think that's something that Na'Vi are going to fall into the trap of though. Yeah. I do think like you've got someone like Simple in the team, right? Like he, he maybe did fall into that trap at one point in time, but now he's very much growing out of it. Um, a B execute looking to be on the cards. For Na'Vi, Boomich, only good for one this time around. Flamey is the man having to stand and deliver. Flash is oh. thrown in from Simple, and it leaves everybody blind. Dexter's able to win out the head-to-head. -head. Patsy, in the meantime, coming in on this lurk and dealing with Perfecto. Now leaves Simple at this B site with Electronic. Ooh. And Simple's managed to go ahead yeah, and deal with the it. players in the pit. He's sticking the defuse. Patsy's got to go fast, and he gets Whoa. around the corner in time. But Simple gets off the defuse, digs him down. And a ninth round on the board for Na'Vi as they keep it going in their favor. He probably had that defuse, mate. He probably had the time in his favor, more likely than not, unless Patsy had an immediate headshot that didn't seem like it was going to happen. But Simple, he gets off the bomb. He wins a fight anyway, no fear. Whatever this man does, I trust him. And he, well, is entrusted with the round. Wins it for Na'Vi. Quick couple of taps off the Deeg, and the retake is wonderful for this CT side. Esparta may have come alive with five rounds in the middle of things, but since that point, Na'Vi have more than shut it down three of their own in a row and they're looking for the fourth to close the half it's the orbs in middle simple going to push the perimeter dangerous decision you get spotted the barrel shot at but dexter can't connect the kill a yeah, grenade's going to start flying down middle dexter stands his ground meanwhile patsy and company look to clear out the apartments they're playing three deep over here on the navi side towards a and nothing into the banana just yet and I was having a look here. I was like, what the, what the hell is an Espada? Ooh. And as I say that, Finnegan lets Simple know what an Espada is. Yeah, Simple didn't go for a timing shot there or anything. He had multiple chances uh, to, to fire off, but, uh, you know, flashed off. And one of those flashes that you assume you're not going to get peeked with, it's just a, a, a fake flash, a bait flash. But no, Finnegan is peeking with it. He gets an AWP as well off the body of Simple, and that is quite the upgrade into the last round of the half.
He's low HP, so we'll see what he can do with it. As Esparta, they were going to go B, but they bailed off the back of that kill. Taking down Simple as the first man, yeah, surely tempts you into the site. But that's where three Na'Vi players are lurking. Um, spot up being the Japanese word for 10 blades. There are only one in the server as far as I can tell. And here on this last round, they're going to look to lasso themselves a sixth, make it a little bit easier when they switch over to the CT side. Either way, the hit's on. It's going to be on the A site. Bomb waiting in tow Ooh, up like in this. top middle. And Perfecto has the off angle, but the swing oh. is for Fumich. Comes out in a big way. Only gets one, but that doesn't matter. Trades certainly have gone in the way of Navi, even though we are at 2v2. Low health here for the remaining members of Espada. It's just Dima. He's going to catch the bullet of Electronic. And it So one rodeo to Rio. Of course, you look at the GG.bet odds. They're going to give you some numbers along a similar storyline that we've already had thus far, where Navi are the favorites to win this one. And it, it is on the namesake. It is on the back of some of their accomplishments already. Either way, triple B set up here for a spot. They're going to be posted up at the top of Banana. And then there are two A players playing back towards Pit. 
Patsy's got jewelies. And oh, I'm a fan, I love baby. that. I love that. Come on. Oh, oh. that's a bit. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Dima, man. Why that's do you have not to do it fun. like this? How do you lose these? <laughs> <laughs> that is like one of my favorite simple yeah. clues. The amount I find myself referencing oh, yeah. that in like pugs is just incredible. Guys, guys. How guys. you lose this? <laughs> Nice grenade, got to say. Yeah, Dima gets really bored down low by that. He's still There's still a triple B stack for Esparta. That feels a little bit unusual, especially with Dima clearing out now pretty deep down Banana. He's seen that there's no one yeah, there, and he good. also got a kill here earlier in the round. Ooh. So finally, we have this rotation coming through, but it is going to take a while for Esparta. Now, I like this idea of a double pit setup because what <gasps> just happened there he is... He doesn't believe it, does he? Or has he lost his gun? Flamey. Flamey, where's the gun? Where's what the gun gone? Done? Oh, he's found it. He's found oh. the gun. Oh, no, but he's also found Dexter. And dearie yeah. me, Flamey has really what messed that round on? up. I Perfecto need an is gone. Boom it. Oh, no, it's all gone wrong. Let's <laughs> just, you know, if we can, if what? we could just get the whole replay of Flamey and every motion that he went through right there to try to recover what was a disaster full so turn of events. At first, I thought he was going for the knife, and I'm like, yeah, that's ballsy. Yeah. And, then, and then you realize, nah, he's just lost his gun. Oh, what? He dropped it, and then he's like, where to go? And then he's, <laughs> he's looking for the USP of the player he killed, right? Because it's a double pit setup. It's a fake with Dexter here. He doesn't know Dexter's in the smoke, and he's, like, knifing. Little does he know, if he knifes the smoke, he gets a kill. Gets the reload off, but by that point, the smoke's faded, and the timing just isn't there. Maybe two seconds earlier, and he wins the fight, but... Oh, dear, that's a messy round in Esparta. Yeah. They'll take it. And maybe him not jumping up on the bicycle might have been the play. I mean, it just shows off his, uh, his recoil control, his balance, crosshair placement, all that. Just a big mess, a big disaster there for Flamey. And we're going to see Esparta pick up a pistol round on their way to bringing this map back. Ten rounds for Navi, six for Esparta. Hero AK on Simpon. I mean, who else would you want this gun in the hands of? Electronic's been a, a little bit of a, of a slow starter in this game. Six and eight. Simpon not really having a trouble, especially not with that AWP. You get that little boost up in the second mid just to get uh, a player up in the apartment. You can do it silently. Oh, there it is. See you later, Dima. Get him out. That's a simple effect, isn't it? Just this hero AK, safe position, takes a kill. Sotfix alone on B. He's got no utility. He's got flash, but he's going to be taking fights here. And if Na'Vi commit, they are committing into a very good situation. Very favorable for them, all things considered. Yeah, and that's why they're not, because it seems too good to be true. And sometimes it is. Esparta could be gambling, right? They could be heavy set on B right now. The fact that they haven't shown anything, Na'Vi have no information, and they've got a guess. But this is a good good spot to be in. That smoke fades on library, but Na'Vi can do what Esparta did to them, which is these you know, raps coming in from CT and two in Banana. The issue is, again, going to come down to the time. These Banana players need to entry before the CT players get there. God, though, this could still get really out of hand for a spider if they're not careful. And, uh-oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> this is it getting really out of hand now for a spider. They weren't careful. Yeah, and uh, this is the save. They, they've already kind of had to come to terms with that here at the A-bomb site. Now, luckily enough, no one has really had to move. They've set up this little triple threat crossfire. But that's really not how you want your anti-eco to go down if you're a Sparta. If you want to be serious about taking this series, these are the kind of rounds you need to find conversions on. And they do just get picked apart. Na'Vi, they find the hole, the gap in the defense for a Sparta, and they are quick to exploit it. And they'll find a round on the back of it, keeping four players alive even, only losing Perfecto. An investment was coming in this round regardless for Na'Vi, and so now they've got too much money, if anything. Look at this again. Simple, just one-tapping Dima on the jump shot. Oh, it's filth. It's horrible. And it's a great round for Na'Vi. That CT wrap comes in perfectly. A Sparta fall for exactly what they made Na'Vi fall for in the first half. And I love it when a team uses something that worked against them, against their opponents after they switch sides. 
that's why it's often you know much better to start CT because you get to see how they play, uh, your opponent plays, and you get to kind of like form an idea of what they're going to be expecting you to do. And you know, you get sometimes you see something really cool on the CT side, you just use it against them in the second half. So fast up an arm bit into the Molotov. It's up to jump shots. It's dangerous. Sotvik with a grenade. It could be great, but they could capitalize okay. on the back of it. Where's the kill okay. for Nami? They just let him jiggle. They let him wiggle, and they let him get away with a double. De uh, Dexter peeking middle as well. We'll find a further kill for us. Sparta and Na'Vi have just been pugged out of this round. Yeah, they really have. And in this storming fashion, one that we kind of really didn't expect to see out of a Sparta. They just come in guns blazing and Sotfik with a double down here at Banana has made this round very, very tricky now for Na'Vi. They will go back towards B. They got enough utility to get themselves in. A smoke for Coffins and a smoke for CT. Molotov even to be the icing on the cake. And that can be used to clear out one of these back site positions. That Coffin smoke comes in now and that not gonna keep Sotfik at bay. He might look to push through it, hiding in the smoke. Likely Ooh. gonna wait for contact to be made by this MP9 player. And now that Flamey is fixated on him, Sotfik has pushed through that smoke, gets into the bomb site and puts a seventh round up on the board for Esparta. Sotfik with three big kills in that round to solidify one on the board and immediately continue these force by wars. Yeah, starting to smell an inkling of 30 rounds creeping in here, Hugo, and you have to look at it and say, Navi, you know, you have Perfecto, you have Boomich at the top of B. They get owned by an MP9, and then, you know, there, there's no answer there. There's no response, and that's going to leave you down two players. So, interestingly enough, but as expected, they were unable to claw themselves out of the predicament and the hole that they dug for themselves over there towards B, and that's going to lead to that a spot around. And we're back at it again. Round 19, right in front of your very eyes. Yeah, and again, you know, Hero AK on Simple and Electronic, that's fine, right? Na'Vi can win these kind of rounds. They're, you know, so used to just having a couple of guns in play, but the grenade's there. Sparta really trying to pressure this B area. Perfecto's gone from 100 to 3 in a Molotov, and that's not where you want to be. We'll be deciding to back off to stay alive and throw some utility. Cough and smoke coming through. Electronic going back to middle, and Na'Vi aren't overcommitting to this B bomb site after the amount of utility they see. So, trying to do some pressure on the A site. Got a tucked in setup for Esparta. No one playing long. That's again a gap that Na'Vi could exploit if they want to flank B once again. And they've thrown the smoke to allow for exactly that kind of play. Peek into short side for two, and they'll find a kill apiece. Patsy doubles it down, and the bomb's been dropped here for Na'Vi. Picked back up by Boomich. You need to get on out of here as Na'Vi is stuck in a two on four. Almost feeling like a one on four if you look at the health. Yeah, pretty much. And guess what, everybody? It's game time. An update from the B stream. Pro 100 leading 12 to 11 over Virtus Pro. So you want to check that out if you want to get some saves on. Tune in the B stream, but don't turn us off. Just control T. And here we go. Finnegan Ooh. almost getting that shot there on to Boomich. <gasps> uh oh. What a disaster. No. They're going to be able to get this oh, bomb down, no. guys. Sotvik trying to save the day, but he can't. Boomich, 1v1 now. He's gotten himself three to make this happen. And now just Dima to beat. Ooh. Boomich has spotted him, throws this smoke, and takes the fight oh, immediately yeah. after. Boomich, he's going to say, Dima, you want to come for the kill? You got to come get me. And Boomich does not because fall. How can he, lose this? he holds Don't his run. own. And how do you lose that? Oh, how do you lose, lose this? this? Let's, Let's just replay silence, that. Silence, yeah. silence, silence in, in the, the studio. Building. Let's run it back. Hello? One more time, please. Please. I've already been left hanging once today. I can hear the mix, uh, you know, scraping through the VODs now. Oh. Like, That's like, a shame. We, we were really talking threw over in it. birthday yeah. boy Tom Eric under the bus. <laughs> Tom's like, quick, quick, replay it. Get, get, it them, get the VOD get back. In. Go, go. Fire into the, to the sound. Okay, can we talk about that round? Can we talk about Majiga that round? Yeah, let's talk about the round. What on earth just went down? I don't what know. just happened? Boomich has a monstrous play there at the end yeah. of the round. And that's the God. one thing that you got to look at. He comes through that moto smoke on long side and he kills a player in the pit. Meanwhile, Finnegan is in the site watching, but he can only see the barrel of Boomich's gun. Boomich is able to get a free kill. Then Perfecto comes from short. Finnegan expects it and he still gets one tap by the Tech 9. That was an excellent round for Na'Vi and one that they should never have won. Dear, oh dear.
12 on the T side. And again, the money isn't perfect because Navi only just got out of that one in a clutch, but at least they got out of it. Esparta didn't quite, as Sotvik has a hero M4 in this round. It's kind of harder to run those hero guns on the CT side. You are, or can just be avoided in a map like Inferno. So he's hoping for a bit of action in this one. Playing towards the short side of things. There's uh, going to be electronic flashing players up long. Navi have liked taking this mid position. And well, Patsy wants to take it back from them. He's going to move into the site instead. Again, this deep arch smoke that allows Navi to cross towards CT if they want. But Esparta have set up to deal with exactly that kind of play. Dexter here, Finnegan as well. It's a two-man setup. But Navi, they're not uh. going through the smoke. They're not going through the spawn. They're going to hit A. They're using that smoke as a fake to wrap. Sotvik caught in the apartments by jumping Mac 10 And Navi have taken the site. Just like that. You can tell they, they kind of had an inkling of perhaps to go off into CT, but... It wasn't on the cards. They get the bomb down, and that does set us up for a 4v3. First kill going the way of Dexter. Simple out of the equation. But a big grenade is a response, and Dexter is going to be backing off of this AK. It's a safe call already for the side of Espada. And you really, you know, Tom, you really sometimes have to ask yourself. What? Because how can we lose this 2 on one <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Simple set it. We couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> How can you lose this? Oh, the Doja. Finnegan coming in late. Boomage is dead. He's got to run apartments if he wants to keep on to his AK. That's a great, great play for Finnegan. Pushing out of boiler, doing damage, and then running away. Boomage dies to the bomb. And it's one gun less saved for Na'Vi, right? They've had expensive rounds in this T-side. So they get away with one in the prior. They get away with two in the post. And it's going to be 13 rounds either way. Still in a good position to close out this map. Three away from it. Sparta have to take an eco as well after forcing the previous. So, Navi's chance to really send it home. Tennis, how do you lose these? Man, I, I, I just, I, I love some of the stuff that Simple comes out with. It's good. He's good. Something about one in a game and, and in his name and who's to blame and... One in, one in the name, he's number one in the game. Thank you so much, Hugo. Thank you so much. That was the missing few links I had there. <laughs> Well, Electronic, he is going to make Pets a Patsy go missing in this round. They're going to have to put out a report, put his face on some milk cartons. Where is Patsy? Well, you can figure it out. Five on four for Na'Vi, grouping towards that beat bomb site. Esparta have the crossfire, and they've got the boost up as well See, in spawn. Simple could call his, like, subs simps. And that would like what I <laughs> it would all kind of tie together quite well. It's a pretty prop popular word already, I think, for many fans around the globe. Diva oh, no. over here trying uh -oh. Uh -oh. to peek into CT. Sotfik now looking over the top of this smoke with the deagle. Oh. He gets a quick boost up, but isn't able to find anything from it. Oh. And he actually okay. falls through the smoke. No heroics from Sotfik today. Finnegan going to give his attempt, but Simple locks down the B-bomb site. You often see players, you know, not realize that someone's spraying a position anyway, and they kind of walk into it, but more often than not, the tracers will give that away. Simple is spamming CT from new box with the A1S, and because it has a silence roll, there's no tracers, there's no bullets coming through that smoke, and so Sotfik drops off the boost and then goes, ah, oh, let me reface and spam this smoke, and then he re-peaks the smoke and just dies, but he wasn't to know. He couldn't hear the bullets. He couldn't see the bullets. I mean, what other senses are there? Not not enough. He could feel the bullets, that's for sure, but that came too late. 14 rounds for Na'Vi, and Esparta have one rifle round to keep them in this map. If not, it feels like Na'Vi are going to be taking away their opponent's map pick and taking us to nuke. Yes, indeed. It's very much starting to look that way. Na'Vi, they were the expected victors of this series, and they might be about to do away with Inferno in a reasonably steadfast fashion. Finnegan over here at long side, trying to hold down the fort. He does have players back inside the A site to support him if needed. But in terms of, you know, things like supportive flashes, they're going to be a little ways out. The only guy who could really look to help there is going to be someone like Patsy down in the pit. But this doesn't look to be an A play for Na'Vi. 
Instead, feigning this top mid aggression. They do keep two players there to sell this fake while the rest of the gang go back. Now try and take this top B control. Bye bye. And they do get rewarded with a kill from it. Dima goes down. And now at this point, for Na'Vi, they can go to either bomb site. You know, the pressure's kind of off, especially with Flamey putting up that kill over at the A side of the map. That has very much split this defense of Esparta up. Dexter trying to play with timings, trying to get into the apartments, and he does find himself in the boiler now. Ooh. Electronic really might make this place boiling as it heats up a little too hot for Dexter. Rotation in from Sotvik and Finnegan over here towards the A-bomb site, but they're both getting cut down. They're both getting dealt with. Finnegan, now they know he's here, and this bomb just goes back to B. Doesn't even have to come in as Electronic solidifies map point there for Na'Vi. Going about the business, locking in the rounds. Na'Vi doing as they should be in this series and taking convincing victories. 15 on the board and only $3,000 for a Sparta per player. That's not really the money you need up against map point, especially not on your map pick. And we know Nuke is coming up after the break as well. That has been obviously a great map for Na'Vi as of late. Bit of a championship map for these guys. So Esparta have got their work cut out for them, but not just in the next round, in this round as well. It's going to be an SMG rush down banana for a couple of ECTs. Rotate coming out from the man who threw the utility that was Petsy. And if you're Navi, you're saying enough is enough. No more rounds for Esparta. Seven, ah, that's just a little off the top. Just a little bit of a taste of what it could feel like. If you wanted to get 16 against us, Electronic's going to find Dexter's push towards Banana, and it's going to be received very well, at least for the Navi side. Dima doing a little bit of that as well, and he's going to be joined over here from the player of Patsy. Oh, they get one, but yeah, as simple as they're ready to trade that one out. Navi still set a man up, but a lot of damage done onto Perfecto and Electronic. This round is not going to be quick nor easy for Navi. Regardless of fielding the man advantage, we're looking towards the likes of Flamey and Simple to do the bulk of the damage here. Flamey is going to lead this charge in towards the top of mid. And RV might just look to commit A on the back of this map control. They've completely conceded Banana. There was a deep smoke dropped earlier on, so they don't have any control at this side of the map. And that kind of forces them to commit to this A play. They know that's a one way, but they can't see anyone there. Finnegan's trying to look through it. He can uncrouch when they get close, but that flash makes him tuck back below. Navi have got a player in the site. They can just wait on Flamey. He's going to get a kill eventually because Sparta don't expect a man to be this deep out of nowhere. And now Finnegan, he has got to hold the line on his own. Bomb drop, that's something. 10 seconds. Finnegan stalling out here. He may have done something for the team. Plant coming in in another corner. He could wall bang it, but there is cover this time and he doesn't want to take the fight. Waiting for his rotate, who's, who is still dead. Petsy coming in from long and well that map won't last long. 